So I couldn't sleep. Figured, hey, may as well come out, enjoy a cigar, and assemble some more furniture. Oh my God, okay, a couple tips here. First of all, they go together way easier if you assemble the fasteners extremely loose. I mean, I did that one, what I would consider normally loose. And yes, that's dog crap. <laughs> Gotta pick that up in the morning. Chloe didn't want to go on the grass. Uh, anyway, I'm talking just a couple threads loose. Leave everything just completely wobbly. It dramatically helps line things up because the tolerances are show off. And then you just have to zip them tight. And that is the big tip. I'm glad I waited to assemble this stuff because this tool that came with the bed I'm not exaggerating, cut assembly time by 75% alone. Just not having to take that Allen wrench in and out of the fasteners a couple hundred times. And that's also not an exaggeration because on some of these you have to go facet by facet and it's a chore getting that in every single time. This zips it right together. The only thing that would be better is room for a power tool. Ah, that, that almost makes it a pleasure to assemble this. So if you're going to be ordering this furniture or you know anything you're going to be putting together like this, do yourself a favor and seek one of these out. I don't know if Amazon's going to carry it or whatever, but I'm sure you can find them. Huge, huge improvement. Now I need to do the couch and the table. Yeah, I'm on about two hours of sleep. Got to bed around four. Got two chairs and the love seat done last night. And uh, just, you know, chilled out in bed for a little while. And then the freaking wife wakes me up at 6 with her hair dryer and banging all kinds of crap around in the bathroom. And now I can't go back to sleep. So sun's about to come up here. I'm going to go get some breakfast and we'll start the day. It's garbage day. And I want to get some more stuff out. So there's a few things I want to get built and unbox this morning before they come so I can have a full load out. Another full load of garbage gone. I've got my huge clock here. It's about two and a half feet in diameter. And I'm thinking one of three places. Now I want to be able to see it both from the living room and the kitchen. So I'm not really keen on putting it on either side of the TV, if, if anything on that side. But I definitely want some nice piece of art. But I do want it on this side of the room because I already have a clock built into the nest. Every time you walk by it, it shows you the time and date and the weather and all that kind of stuff. My number one choice is going to be here. It just about fills the entire space, you know, somewhere up there like that, eight, nine feet up. That'd be a nice spot. You could see it from everywhere, but, you know, it's off to the side. Uh, option... Three would be above this doorway. The only problem with that is it's really tight. I mean, it, it covers, you know, 90% of the space. So it would look kind of funny in that small of an area. I mean, it's three and a half feet, but, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's not my favorite. That's not going to stay up there. It's just a clock I brought in from the garage and put it up there out of the way for now. I mean, here would be a good spot as far as the overall space. Is that a, that's a shadow. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, did I miss a paint spot? No, that's just a reflection from the kitchen lights. This would be a great spot space-wise, but I just don't think, you know, a, a clock is something I want to be looking at prominently like that. So I'm really thinking over there. That's, that's a really good space for it, I think, but Gotta ask the wife. Got one nightstand done here. Moved the lamp in, moved the side table in. That'll kind of act as the, the dresser for anyone coming. You know, they can lay their stuff out on top and use the drawers there. It's really all you need. Of course, you got room in the closet. Put some stuff in here just for now for storage. Uh, a bunch of her stuff, just, you know, stuff that she wants to keep but not use. So it'll just go up there and stay there as Kind of what we use the garage for. Not going to put in a second nightstand. Don't really need it in the guest rooms. You know, it's an extra 200 bucks for a light, for a light lamp and nightstand. Uh, don't really need to spend 400 bucks to put two extras in. Uh, 
wife is gonna make up the bed later. We just figured out that um, we didn't order a headboard for the king size guest bed. I, I was supposed to order two king size and I only ordered one just for our bed. So I just ordered uh, another one, a different one. I didn't want the two of the same anyway. So that'll be in in time for me to paint the room and, and get that one going. That's for the king sizes going for the guest room. And we just ordered a, a different comforter for our bed. We're gonna bring our comforter in here and take back this Ikea one. Nothing wrong with this one. This is just the comforter itself. You have to put a cover over it. Um, haven't even used it or you know really unfolded it even. But the one we got, even though it's super comfortable, feels great, it's hot. It's just too hot for us and we wake up completely sweaty in the morning. So we'll put that in here and uh, you know it's hardly ever gonna be used. We can't return it, so we can return this one. Otherwise we'd return that one. And she ordered another one that she claims is gonna be cooler, but you know, we'll see. So that's another 70 bucks on the way. Now this here was another one of those kid lock things. I don't even know how it worked. It wasn't connected when we moved in, but there are these big boxes. I left the two out here. The owner said something like you're supposed to press the button and then it sets some kind of alarm timer. And if the doors open for a certain time, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it worked, but they didn't do anything. Obviously these boxes are huge and ugly and they were, they were coming out of here. Two of those were here on the inside. So they were, you know, huge boxes. I don't mind them out there because you really can't see them that much they blend right in with the wall with the naked eye who cares but here whoa chloe tripping me here here they had to go problem is they were oversized for a normal junction box so these normal size covers don't cover the damage to the walls i had the the build up i tried to cover on that one and this one's just still a hole from the original install so I didn't find oversized covers anywhere locally. I did on Amazon. They're only like 350 a piece. So I've got some of those coming and those will extend out just enough to cover all the damage and that weird um, spackle on that one. So those will be fixed probably Monday. You won't see any of this stuff here. I was looking into mount options and different microphone options for the, uh, Amazon system, and I don't think I'm actually gonna need a mount. This one, I'm either gonna put somewhere here, we're gonna have a table here, I haven't bought that yet, um, or over there, or I may put it right on the counter in the corner. There's a couple outlets I could plug into. So I don't really need any kind of wall mount there. In the bedroom, it's just gonna go on, you know, either the dresser, probably on the dresser, so it can handle the bathroom and the master at the same time. And then I'll have one in my office. I'll just put it on a shelf somewhere. It doesn't really matter. But they do have some really cool mounts that, I mean, there's all kinds. There's the ones where you just plug it right in. There's ones that are built into a bezel. There are ones that are built to uh, work with a USB plug and they'll go off to the side. There are flush mounts where you can use a hole saw and they completely mount flush into the wall or the ceiling. All kinds of stuff for them. But I'm gonna say right now, I'm not gonna need one and I'm just gonna use them as is. And you know, they'll be with the cord behind a dresser or whatever, it really doesn't matter. So I was also looking into options for microphones built into switches and stuff. And I did find a couple. However, they weren't just the surround, they were the whole switch assembly. And uh, I don't really like the features and the looks compared to the Lutrons, so I'm not going to go with that. I think I might add one or two more Echo Dots. I'm thinking definitely one for the garage and maybe one for outside, mounted on the wall out there. I'm not sure how it's going to hold up to the weather, but that's, that's it. Definitely one more for the garage. Got that coming. And I'm not gonna put anything in the guest rooms. It's, you know, not for guests to use. And we can just shout and use the one in the living room if we're back here.
And of course, anywhere you're in your network range, you can simply use your phone as a microphone and issue commands that way too. I'm gonna run down to Walmart, luckily fairly close and really nice Walmart, but I haven't explored the whole place. Thank you to the viewer that reminded me that some of the larger ones have a small selection of fabric. So hopefully they do there and hopefully they have some felt and I'll pick some up. Also picking up some of the Rust-Oleum paint while I'm there and I can fix my tiki torch stands. It's actually a good thing that I didn't get much sleep last night because I need to be in bed really early tonight because I'm leaving before dawn going down to Miami being on a radio show in the morning and then in the afternoon doing a live broadcast for CO Live and then coming back so I'll be on the road you know nine ten hours depending on traffic and working five six hours while I'm there so it's gonna be a long day usually I take the bike but I know coming back I'm gonna be just dead tired I'm gonna want comfort in the AC and just chill with cruise control so take the car so let's see if they have what I want so what I'm after is specifically felt it's kind of like this this is fleece except it's flatter and it sucks up the light this actually reflects a little bit see? totally flat sucks up the light I got a lot of extra because well I use it for a lot of stuff and I don't feel it like coming back. <laughs> so this'll this will do like 10 TVs worth, but I know I'll end up using it over the years. Okay, so let's get some parts cut out here. What I'm gonna do are two triangles, and they're gonna be roughly two, maybe three times as big as the space, because I'm gonna put a crease in it, and it's gonna fold in like that, and it'll be even more of a light suck. And that way you really won't even see the contours of it. I'll just use some Velcro, some self-adhesive Velcro. I'll put maybe one up here, one down here, a couple on the TV, and that should keep it nice and taut for the sides and should blend right in. Let's get it cut out. Ooh, there you go. Even with the lights on, that's clean. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Can't even tell really where it is or where it ends it's creased in about eight nine inches you can see how much bend I put in it there but looking at it and even on camera it looks just like the naked eye it's just pure black you can't see any features in it that's the beauty of felt and why we photographers love it so now when you're walking down the hall here you're not seeing anything behind the TV just looks like it's part of the unit I'll smooth that top crease out just a bit there. I got a little bump, it's just folded over and tucked in. But this is proof of concept. Now I just have to put up the other side and I'll be done. Okay, all set, got both sides done. I'm halfway into the window for the humidor delivery. Nice and clean, love it. And nothing yet, they're supposed to call me 30 minutes out. It's just about two o'clock. And I'm assuming they're gonna kind of uncrate it. I don't know if I'll have a bunch of cardboard or what to get rid of, but I'm gonna make a hole here. I've gotta swing this down the wall and uh, get it out of the way so the unit can go in. I'll wait until the last minute to unplug my internet and that'll be that. I'm gonna clean up some more stuff here and slide it over. I have not yet touched setting up the office. I have the computer barely running, just enough to edit, and that's it. Nothing extra is hooked up. We have to go back to Ikea, uh, probably this Sunday. I wanna get a little table or cabinet or something, something to set the laser printer on, and I've got this big charging station that I use. It's, it's a tray with a 10-port USB charger, and that handles all my GoPros and battery packs and gimbals, and. Everything that charges by USB, it goes right on that unit. And I used to keep it on top of one of the filing cabinets, and that was kind of like my little desk there for it, but got rid of those. So I'll need something just uh, under the table here. That'll be the last thing I buy for the office. I was thinking about putting a rug in here, but no, I don't think so. I don't think it needs it. I, I never used it in the old place, and I never minded the hardwood even playing barefoot. So. 
Come on, deliveries. Give me something. I just got the call from the freight company. They'll be here in 15 to 20 minutes. Time for the humidor. Oh, look, another scam card. <laughs> I wonder how long this is really gonna go on for. It's been every single day since we moved in. Today only one though, so that's something. I hear a truck. Now that's a humidor delivery, baby. <laughs> Awesome delivery guy. Minor problem. <laughs> it's too big to put in the garage. We were hitting the garage door and uh, he doesn't do in-house delivery. So yeah, I'm gonna have to at least uncrate it to do anything with it. Whether it's putting it in the garage for now or getting some help to move it. It's, the cabinet alone is over 600 pounds with the freight it's over 650. yeah uh plan b here's the unit packed up but out of the outer shipping wood it's up about i don't know four inches off the ground and it doesn't get a whole lot smaller i think i'm gonna have to take it apart as best i can and gut it take it in pieces Hopefully the cabinet, when it's stripped, is light enough for two or three people to move. This is just stupid huge. Hmm, I wonder what all these coils are for. Looks kind of like a refrigerator, doesn't it? Well, here she is, unboxed as delivered. Lots of gauges up top. Interesting. Lots of shelves, big doors. I have to get all this out. And quickly, it's heating up out here. Even taking these drawers off, it's only going to save maybe 100 pounds. It's literally a double wide fridge and it's just solid. There's nothing I can gut on this to make it any better. I am going to have to go rent a appliance dolly. I got to wait till the wife gets home here pretty quick and I'm going to run down to U-Haul and hope that does the trick. I need something with straps. something that's gonna be able to muscle that on its side. It's gotta tip back this way. Actually, oh yeah, it does. It, it'll fit through the front door, but the office door is only eight foot, not nine like the main door. Maybe it'll fit off the platform. Gee, I don't even know how I'm gonna get it off the platform. How in the world do they expect you to get this thing in the room? I'm gonna give him a call. All right, so this just got not funny. Uh, basically I called the company and they said, oh, well, we just get a bunch of guys and lift it or put it on two dollies. Uh, I'm gonna have to meet some neighbors real quick. Yes, what do you mean? What's under the car? Hello. Mm, hello, little guy. What you doing? <laughs> yeah, we gotta check for this under our cars now. <laughs> yeah, good. Good luck with that. <laughs> I've never tried it. No, you can't. Can you stop Actually, chasing no, the tail? Leave him go and keep him going that way. Keep the going. Keep him 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 going. Oh, thank God for dogs. Yeah. And friends. <laughs> thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> Not done yet. <laughs> Whew. Right here. Okay. Okay. A couple more over here. Oh, is it supposed to be that way? Which way? I think it's like that. Put your foot on that side so I can tilt it. Here you go. Come on. Ready? Yep. 
sucked but we got it in and I think without damage oh man one heavy duty dollar some dolly floor sliders and four big guys later oh that's a beast I gotta get my own sliders on it configure it in the back slide it in whoo I gotta take a break I'm gonna let this thing sit well there it is this is the Reagan Massive cabinet humidor. Rated for 4,000 cigars. It heats, it cools, it regulates humidity. It is separate dual zone. It is pretty much a double wide refrigerator. These are full magnetic refrigerator doors. Everything's LED lit. Custom slider drawers, dividers, perfect for singles or boxes. You've got slightly angled shelves here, not the incredibly commercial angled ones that are useless except for open boxes. We've got flat ones down here for the majority of it. Oh man, and of course it locks if you've got kids or roommates. Tons of stuff to go over in this one, but that will be in a separate video. See you guys next time. All right, I just spent the last half hour turning over the garage, finding all the various bits and pieces I need to broadcast tomorrow from location. It'll be at the Boynton Beach Smoke Inn. I'm sure those of you that are in the CO Fans group or watch CO already know about it. And I think you'll have already watched it by the time this video comes out. Found my laptop power supply that is juicing up and updating. It's getting the fall windows update that came out just the other day. Uh, read a lot of people are having problems with it, specifically with some type of Intel audio display device. I'm not sure what that is. I didn't look into it. I don't have it on this device. This has a NVIDIA graphics and I didn't have any problems at all on the desktop. They're, they're basically identical machines. Seriously, that has two more cores because I updated the CPU, but that's a 1070, that's a 1080 Ti, both top of the line Intels. Whew. Okay, well, I need to go over my list of stuff, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I've got my, oh, almost forgot, just in case they don't have one, my 100 foot Ethernet, which comes in very handy on location, let me tell you what. And I need to pull the power strip out from back. I've got my extension cord to bring down there somewhere. Somewhere, right there. Okay, I've got my power for the camera. Oh, I need to find my other mic or a battery for my backup mic because it just started to go dead. All right, that's the only thing left on the list. So that's it for today. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I I guess I'll do a video tomorrow from Smokin. Can't wait to get home in a couple days and get this baby fired up though. Whew, man, that is just sweet. Oh, it is, it's a fridge. Man, that's hot inside. I'm gonna let that cool off. Rush of hot moist air came out. <laughs> Now, because it is a refrigeration unit, but with specific controls to control the humidity, it's not just a refrigerator, don't worry. Uh, 
you can't lay them down on their sides, kind of like a plasma TV. We had to tilt this 45 degrees to get it in here. And uh, the company suggested letting it sit for 24 hours, don't do anything, and let everything settle because of the, the uh, fluids. That worked out perfectly because I won't be here. <laughs> so it can just sit here and breathe. See you next time, guys.